welcome back to another Tutorial Tuesday. Today we're gonna discuss the in-game racing line in F122. At first it seems like a great tool to get you familiar with racing lines around different tracks. You roughly learn the breaking points so it comes in very handy for newer players. But if you keep relying on the in-game racing line, you're missing out on a lot. In today's video we're gonna drive a lap with the in-game racing line on, analyze it with the Track Titan platform. Track Titan is always free but when you sign up with code RACINGLINE you'll get some free extra insights for a month. Afterwards we're gonna see how we can improve when we drive without the in-game racing line on. Be sure to subscribe if you don't want to miss our weekly sim racing guides that have helped a ton of sim racers get faster already. But for now let's get on track. So here we come to our first flying lap at the Red Bull Ring with the racing line on and we're gonna try to try to follow it as closely as we can as a new player would and that brings me immediately to one of my concerns with the racing line is that it instills the habit of looking just right in front of your car as a new player you're not looking up ahead at the corners that are coming up you're not really taken in the track, you're just focused on this racing line and when it turns yellow to red, you need to start to, you need to break and instead of really learning about the track, you're learning how to follow instructions, I would say. And one other thing I dislike about this racing line is that I I know that it's based on how the real drivers drive around the track in real life and F122 is not real life so you might actually be faster using different racing lines using different braking points but we're gonna analyze this performance so here we are on the track titan platform and we're gonna dive into the first sector to see if changing our racing line can actually make us faster in any way so here we're taking a look at segment one and we can see that we're almost half a second slower than the reference lap if we zoom in to the racing line we see that our orange racing line versus the blue reference line is way more to the inside of the track which means we can use a lot more track space during this braking zone here. Now here at segment 3 we can see that again our racing line in orange is way more to the inside than the blue reference lap. Which means that when you follow the in-game racing line you don't use all the track space that is available for you. And as we come to segment 5 we see the same story again. We can use a lot more track space here which will make the angle through the corners much wider and giving us the chance to actually get through the corner faster as well. When we come to segment 6 we see the same story again, not using all the track space that's available for us. Now when we come to segment 8, again we're not using all the track space that is available. As we see with the reference lap, the line is a lot wider as well meaning they can carry a lot more speed through this corner because they don't have to turn their car as much as the suggested line makes you do and then when we come to the last corner during the second half of the corner we also can use a lot more track space than the suggested line tells you to track titan is always free but when you sign up with code racing line you'll get some free extra insights for a month so let's get back out on track and see if we can set a, a better lap time when we use more track space than the suggested line offers us so here we come to our flying lap without the racing line and as you can see we can use a lot more track space than the racing line would suggest and that's because the racing line in game is based on what the real livers, real life drivers do and they cannot really use those curbs on the braking zones because they will lengthen their braking but in the game it's a totally different story so you can really use more of them than the racing line would suggest and another downside of the racing line is that you're too much 
you're focusing too much on what's directly up ahead, and that's the racing line, of course, instead of what's coming up in the distance. Like, what are the corners going to be? Where are your braking points? And if you're in a race, what are the other drivers up ahead doing? And so you can see, by following my own racing line, we can easily shave off a couple of tenths off of my lap time. So I highly suggest you do the same and you learn how to find your own braking points and how to find your own racing line. So the in-game racing line is a helpful tool for beginners, but it will hold you back if you rely on it for too long. You will hold yourself back in terms of track awareness and speed as it can distract you and it doesn't give you the actual optimal racing lines. We hope you've learned something from this video and let us know in the comments down below what topics you'd like to see covered next. Head over to tracktitan.io to see how analyzing your laps can make you faster for free when you sign up using promo code RACINGLINE. Thank you for watching and we'll see you in the next video.